Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today is January 21st, 2020, and this is our episode number 527. Today's randomly selected company is Porto Seguro. It's an insurance company, and as a matter of fact, it wasn't that long ago that we did a small series on it. I think it's around episode 462 to 65. What I can tell you is that I did not consider it uh, an investment idea for myself. And uh, let's try to, um, to see why from the numbers we have here. So zero debt, as we tend to expect from insurance companies whenever possible. Their liabilities to equity always hovering above two and at the end of 2018 at three. Their current ratio below 1.5 here at 1.31. Uh, I mean, nothing strikingly bad here for an insurance company, but also, you know, perhaps nothing screaming good there either. And here, the price uh, in terms of uh, price to to earnings over 10 years. Again, not so so bad. Uh, and then the free free cash flow. Uh, was significantly worse there's a lot that's packed into here so and the most important thing is that I don't consider myself such a great analyst of insurance companies okay uh, because it's partly a finance company in a sense so like free cash flow sometimes doesn't mean quite as much or quite as immediately uh, as let's say like an industrial company and so forth uh, but what I thought here was that these multiples, although not bad, they weren't screaming a buy, that's all, right? So certainly Portseguro, by looking at these numbers, falls into that too hard pile. It's hard to say. So let's try to just update the numbers for the latest uh, quarter we have, which is the third quarter here. I already downloaded the 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 financial demonstration so as you can see here the last quarter that we have information for is after September 2019 and since then uh, net equity grew to 8 billion and 41 million uh, let's see liabilities so that'll be current liabilities 16934 plus the non-current 6325 and let's check debt Yeah, at least in terms of bank loans or, and debentures, things of this sort, it's still zero. So the ratio here, I think it will have improved a tiny bit. Yep. So liabilities to equity is down to 2.89, so good. Let's see current ratio here. 21,507 divided by 16,934. 1.27 so it's been getting worse here over the last almost three years even worse than almost five years ago but I think they're, they're able to maintain uh, this at uh, this level apparently they've done so for more than 10 years now okay so revenue We will do a simplistic projection here. It should be good enough for insurance. We'll take three quarters, divide by three, and multiply by four, and imagine that is the full year, at least temporarily. So divide by three, multiply by four. So it would be down year over year, even before adjusting for inflation. So was fairly stable here let's face it what about earnings so 
so they posted a billion zero eight here so same projection divide by three multiply by four so 1344 okay so as is clear here they have maintained like uh, you know profits dipped into 2016 and then they recovered here let's tr take a look at free cash flow so that'll be operating cash flow in this case 1126 plus investment which is minus 191 here and we do the same projection divide by 3 multiply by 4 so 1246 so indeed at this clip here free cash flow is set to be second best since 2009 now what we can do here is have the 10-year average consider 2019 and now discard 2009 Yeah, in terms of free cash flow, it's interesting because the average was discarding like a pretty good year, year here, which was 2009. So the average got worse. We can also do the following thing here. Make it make a row for five-year average. So we focus a little bit more on the recent past. Let me just style this correctly. Cool. So this will be an average, but five years here. Nice. I will worry about the styling details here later. Great, so if we focus on the most recent five years here, price to free cash flow is a better multiple at 23 versus 30 here and um, price to free cash flow is ever so slightly better but we must update market cap too otherwise we're completely outdated Siguru market cap says here 21 billion and 400 let me double check yep 21 486 okay so as you can see here it did increase maybe about by about 30 percent Okay. and the multiples are higher so you know I think uh, it doesn't change my final decision that is con to consider this company like a too hard so it seems like a pretty solid company just not selling at a very attractive price uh, and also I cannot no, I don't have enough information to believe that Porto Seguro will have like a, an extremely bright future, which would be another possibility uh, that could entice us. So this is it. Porto Seguro is here. Of course, we will continue learning, continue following uh, insurance companies. Uh, but at this moment, I don't feel like uh, there is a reason for me to become a partner there. So thank you so very much. If you've gotten here to this point in the video, 
and you're not yet a subscriber, please consider becoming one by clicking or tapping on the subscribe button. If you have questions, feedback, and especially if you spot mistakes in the analysis, please leave a comment in the video. I will be delighted to write you back as soon as I can. Meanwhile, I wish you have a wonderful day. See you next time.